and the impact is emergence of uh, new gods and ideologies. Nationalism is among those gods at the top and that tells everyone around whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims makes no difference. What you are seeing today is uh, a, 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 an evidence, a proven evidence of this God. Why <coughs> Saudis hate Qataris whom they liked some time back? Why UAE likes Israel more than Qatar? Why Egyptians call themselves we are Egyptians and not Sudanese and why Sudanese call themselves we are Sudanese because we have we are black Egyptians are less uh, white and less black what's the basis why they fight among themselves why they don't collaborate even those who call themselves Arab League what does that mean? That means those who speak Arabic are one nation. Those who don't speak are another nation. Nationalism of language. Therefore, there is a deep penetration of these Western philosophies, and unknowingly, unconsciously, we are victim of that and we never realize that. Therefore, when we talk, talk about Islamic thought, culture, civilization, before we go into details, we must have an idea about our current situation and I thought it necessary to let you know what are the major trends in the West and how these trends have shaped my and your life, my and your ideas, my and your personality everything that we talk about, we think about is based on those ideologies which from day one have been put in our mind through reading, through textbooks, through discussions, through laboratories, through the whole society, the economy, political system. Everything has worked in the way as western thought has told us. Next please. Technology, industrialization of society and colonialism is the other god. As a concept, it means the process by which societies acquire tools, organization and skill necessary to engage in mass production. That is what is the meaning of technology and industrialization. Technological advancement often displaces the land markets of traditional culture, the landmarks, not market, landmarks, it is a misprint. Landmarks of uh, traditional culture means that uh, if, if there was uh, a uh, gothic church in the center of city, but not many people go to worship there. So, they say why do not we have a shopping mall here? So, that gothic church which was a masterpiece of architecture is removed from there and a uh, multi-story shopping mall is built where you have glass and a steel structure, a square. Now, those who were born and raised in that area, whenever they used to tell people where they live they will say I live next to the cathedral or next to the mosque or next to the khanqa, but now that landmark is gone, that history is gone, that culture is gone. Therefore, modernity technology has re re displaced culture, culture landmarks and traditional culture. The scale and size of production becomes the benchmark of success. Amazon began as a book distributing agency, but Amazon now can provide you tanks and airplanes by your uh, online shopping. 
a huge enterprise. Amazon has uh, its uh, storehouses in space. So, it, it takes less time to uh, distribute products globally. Control, production, a, a race to acquire national resources lead to an age of colonialism, colonization. Therefore, the colonialism and industrialization went together. From 18th century onwards, industrial development takes place and there is the time when they need raw material for their markets and they go to uh, um, uh, South Asia, they go to Africa, they go to various parts of the world to get cheap labor and cheap resource material and then bring their finished products and sell those to them at much higher cost.